Hello, everybody. It's the coach. This is Madden 20 on EA Sports. Up next, we'll see Jared Goff and the NFC champion Los Angeles Rams as they match up with Big Ben, Ben Roethlisberger, and the Pittsburgh Steelers. So with that, let's get you up to Heinz Field in Pittsburgh. Standing by for the call, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Okay, Coach, EA Sports coverage of the NFL leads us to a snow-covered Heinz Field in Pittsburgh, PA. They love the black and gold here in the Steel City. And a few moments ago, their Steelers emerged from the Heinz Field Tunnel. They're set, we're set, as the Steelers are ready to do battle with the Los Angeles Rams. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, we look at this Steeler ball club entering play. They come in riding high, just one loss in their last seven games. It's a very focused team, very disciplined. They've kept the penalties to a minimum, and they're winning football games. Meanwhile, for the visiting Rams, they come into this one off a bit of a clunker last time out, a loss that ended their five-game winning streak. The shadows starting to get a bit longer. Week 10 of the NFL season is here, and we're underway on EA Sports. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll be brought down here as the penalty flags come in right away, and we may have a face mask here right at the start. Officials so cognizant of that call nowadays, but that would look pretty easy. Yeah, you're right. They took out of their hands having to wonder whether it's a 5-yard or a 15-yard inadvertent or not. Now, it's a lot easier. You see it, you call it. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. The Steeler first down on the pickup of 11 yards. And that's a run that will energize an offensive line. They'll take that one all day long. Fundamental breakdown by the defense. You've got to be able to make plays on the edge. A run by Connor on first down and a good one. As he'll get about seven here. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. First carry of the game for Jalen Samuels. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. Four yards the pick up, first down. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now it's Roethlisberger. There goes a deep ball, in zone. And that'll wind up incomplete. Try to give his man room to run under it, but it's second down. They'll try again from the 36 on second and 10. They go draw play. This is Samuels. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. Got to get to the 26 for a first. This is third down. From the gun, it's Roethlisberger. And that is incomplete. Those passes out that far wide always make you hold your breath a little bit. Felt like it was in the air for a while. What it does is it allows a defender to gain some ground, come from a long distance, and have a chance to affect the pass. And this one's not close, not even close. Short and to the right, it's no good. And this will remain a scoreless game. Now, if this was a clear day in September, I'd say this is well within his range. I'd feel very confident about this kick, but let's be honest about it. In these elements, the difficulty level gets ratcheted up by at least a factor of five. Now the third leading rusher in the NFL last year, Todd Gurley. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. It's a gain of 15, and the Rams have a first down. A gain of 15. And the Rams first down. A play fake to Gurley. Now gone. 
And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. To throw is gone. He sets to fire deep. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. He'll get this complete to Cooper Cup. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. On first down, it's Gurley. The tackle there by Mark Barron. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Now gone. That's complete to the tight end, Everett. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. From the gun on third down, gone. And able to find Higby, it's complete. And they're going to have themselves another first down as the tackle's made at the Steelers' 16. First down, From the red zone now, gone. And he's going to go down. He's sacked back at the 24. Bud Dupree just would not be denied. That's a loss of seven. And plays like that really hurt play calling. They had a really nice gain on the previous play, but gave about half the yardage back on the sack. Excellent pressure up front. Nowhere to go with the football. Down he goes. Now following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. Goff now to throw. He's going to go up top for the end zone. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Robert Woods, the intended receiver that time. And that'll make it third down. From the gun, here's Goff. I like the boldness, and I like that they took a shot downfield. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off inside the five. And the return goes up to his own 17-yard line. So it's third and long, and you know this is going to be a pass. So defensively, they bring in an extra defensive back and just blanket the field. And this is an ill-advised throw right here as it winds up being picked off easily. Pittsburgh's offense now heading back out onto the field. And, you know, certainly a lot of football left to be played. We're not into December yet, but right now where we stand, they're first place in their division, looking good, looking to be a threat come January. And let's think about what every team has in their goals, all right? Number one goal is what? Make the playoffs. Number two goal is win your division. Number three goal, and the biggest goal, I think, is to be the highest seed possible that you can be heading into the playoffs so that you can have as many home games as possible to try and get you to the Super Bowl. And right now fighting for every win possible to try to at least secure home field for the wild card and or divisional round. To throw here, Roethlisberger. Able to find Switzer. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It'll be a gain of 17 at a Pittsburgh first. On first down, it's Samuels. Absolutely nobody fooled there. He's going nowhere fast as he stopped behind the line of scrimmage. The tackle made back at the 39-yard line. Now on second and 13, Roethlisberger, and he connects with Vance McDonald. They'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. It's a game of nine, makes it third and four. From the gun on third down, it's Roethlisberger, and he finds McDonald. And he has the first down yardage before they bring him down right at the 45. Move the chains, a gain of seven on third down. So from Rams territory now, it's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Now a fake on the give here as they try to run pass option. Complete to Washington. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. Too far downfield, something those linemen have to watch out for. And that time it costs them. Mike 57. We gotta get the ball. D get the ball right here. Let's go. 
Now Ben going to give this one to Connor. It's a solid pickup of 11, and it's second down. The tackle made by Jonathan Foster. A gain of 11. And now whistles and a flag, and I think we got a jump here. Defense. So a jump there defensively. It's a killer. Watch the football. Don't move across the line of scrimmage until the ball moves. On first and ten, it's Roethlisberger. He'll find Juju Smith-Schuster. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. The Steeler first down on the pickup of 11 yards. On first and 10 is Connor. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Throwing on second down. Roethlisberger. Washington's got it. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. It's his first catch, and it'll be good for 15 at a first down. Out of the gun, it's Roethlisberger. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. The defensive player of the year, Aaron Donald. And that'll make it second and goal. A few issues here on the offensive line. Apparently, he got sacked five times last week. They got to him here in the first quarter. And I would think that running the ball would be paramount here because it's a different team they're facing, but they watch the film as well. So they'll take many of those same principles and try and apply them in this game to see if they fixed what was wrong with them in the last game. Another try after the first down sack. Roethlisberger throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. Juju Smith-Schuster, the intended receiver. But now it's third and goal. On third and goal, Roethlisberger. And they get to him with a pressure as Roethlisberger goes down. Marching in for the sack, Michael Brockers. We always talk about how teams are so competitively matched and you just want to make those plays that give you an advantage. How about right here? The difference between letting them score a touchdown versus holding them to a field goal, that's absolutely huge with the play he just made. And you know he hated taking the loss there on third down. And Boswell's kick is good. And the Steelers will jump out to a three-zip lead. Boswell signed to a four-year deal prior to last season, but he struggled a little bit. Yeah, do you think that they saw 13 of 20 when they signed him to a four-year deal? Not at all. Needs a big bounce back in 2019 if he wants to see the end of that contract. This will be fielded at the eight. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, only gave up three points off of that, so it shouldn't be a difficult hole to overcome. It really shouldn't as long as they're not listening to the chatter coming from the other side because when you throw a pick, look, I know defensive backs, they have a tendency to be a little bit loud after they take one away, but they also have a tendency to gamble a little bit more thinking they'll get a second one. Maybe they can take advantage of that with some double moves. Out of the gun, gone. This is caught, it's Cooks. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. First down, Los Angeles there with a pickup of 14 yards. Three nothing after one on EA Sports. Now Goff will hand this one to Gurley. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that'll bring up a second and 11. Now on second down, this is Gurley. And very little running room there. He did get a couple up to the 49. The Rams on third down. They've been good, three for four thus far. This is third and nine. Goff now looks to throw. 
And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. You can tell they were hoping for a flag there offensively. Several on the sideline motioning. Hey, why not a penalty? Why not a penalty? I, what did you see? Yeah, I think you've got to let them play, and the officials are instructed. If there's contact coming from both sides, no flag. Let them fight it out. And forces fourth down. Big Ben and the Steelers with a first and 10 at their own 14-yard line. Here's Roethlisberger to throw. Got an open man. It's Washington. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. The Steelers able to pick up 18 yards there. Roethlisberger now 6 of 10 in this first half. He's got his guys a first down here. And they'll try the jet sweep here. And an alley to run. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. It's a Pittsburgh first down, a gain of 13. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. From the shotgun, it's Roethlisberger. He'll find Smith-Schuster. That's complete. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. It's a Pittsburgh first down, a gain of 13. So from Rams territory now, it's first and 10 at the 41. A run with counter on first down, going to get about five. Second and five coming up. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. A gain of five brings up second and five at the 36-yard line. On second down, Connor looking for space. And they're able to get this one past the 30, down to the 25. The Steeler first down on the pickup of 11 yards. On first down, Samuels. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. The tackle made by Clay It's a pickup of three. Brings up second and seven at the 23-yard line. On second down, it's Connor. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. The evolution of Clay Matthews as a player is just one that they're going to end up writing books about. He didn't even start until his senior year at USC. He didn't start in high school. And now he's at all-pro level in the NFL. How about the play he just made there? Yeah, he has certainly made a name for himself. William Clay Matthews III. That's a good job there creating the contact to force the incompletion. And now since it's fourth down, that should set up a field goal situation. And a nice sigh of relief defensively to be able to hold them to three. So the scoring drive encompasses nine plays, and the net result, three points. Take your disappointment and put it aside. Nine plays, yeah, they want to end up in the end zone with a touchdown. I get that. But sometimes those nine-play drives pay dividends later with another nine-play drive that culminates in a touchdown when they wear down a defense. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. We take a look ahead at what's to come later tonight. Sunday night football, it'll be the Vikings and the Cowboys from AT&T Stadium in Arlington. And then tomorrow night, we've got the Seahawks and the Niners from Levi's Stadium. And we were in the Bay Area for the Raiders on Thursday night. Now right back out to watch the Niners on Monday night. They go play action with Gurley. Now gone. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. T.J. Watt, he's the one to get him, and that is sack number seven for him on the year. Brandon, if I'm an offensive coordinator and I see an all-out rush like that, I file it away because I'm going to use their aggressiveness against them as this game goes on. I'm going to hit them with a screen soon. After the sack on first down, Goff. And the open receiver, it's Robert Woods. They get 16 out of that one, but they'll still need to convert on third. They have the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all. And now they're looking at third down here. Offense. Not what you wanted there, third and two. And this is something you've worked on in practice from the time you were in training camp, yet you still create your own mistakes. Now gone. Pressure from his right, and he goes down hard, flat on his back. Mark Barrett, 
With a big time sack on third down, it's a loss of seven. I'm starting to feel for that quarterback back there. I mean, you know me. Normally, don't have a lot of empathy for the QB, right? In this case, definitely. He's been on constant duress this entire game. I don't know how he's surviving back there. And to think, there's still a long way to go in this football game. On is the punter, Hecker, as he gets this one away. Here's Switzer. Six-yard return after a punt of 48. And the Steelers will go on offense here, first and 10. An update from a game going on in Indianapolis. Well, the Dolphins have jumped out to an early lead in their ball game. I have a feeling that one's going to stay tight throughout. We'll continue to monitor. The drive will start with Connor. And an alley to run. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. A gain of 10, good for a Steeler first down. On first down, it's Roethlisberger. Oh, that was dangerous. Threw it into coverage, almost picked. But instead, they'll keep it on second down. On second down, Samuels. And he's going to take this one across midfield and into Ram territory. That second down run, a big help. The seven yards leaves him with just a third and three now. They'll try and run for it with Connor. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain there, and it leads to a fourth down. Perfectly designed blitz right there. They took that one from the grease board to the field because they were able to free up their linebacker to get into the backfield and spill the play. So Jared Goff, he is the focus of our player spotlight. And I guess the question, Charles, is what's the formula for keeping him better protected? Because as we see, the protection, it struggle. And normally what you get is renewed determination. When the, when the big guy gets hit, that usually sparks people. Hey, we can't let this happen anymore. They take it personally. He's not supposed to be on the ground, but that hasn't been the case so far in this game. So maybe they've got to figure out how do they get rid of the ball faster to help out the offensive line so he doesn't get hit as much. And we'll see if they can keep him off the ground now going forward. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag. But you caused the play. You did it. I had to. A run with Gurley there on first down. Going to get about four yards. Sean Davis that time on the tackle. To throw on second and six. Goff. And that's complete to Cooks. And they're going to have themselves another first down as the tackle's made at the Steelers' 36. So from the 36 now, first and 10. 26 Mike, 26 Mike. We got it, we got it. Goff turns and gives to Gurley. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26 yard line. 10 yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. 10 yards on the pickup. It's second and inches. On second down now. It's Brown, and he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20 yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Goff going to hand it to Gurley. And he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18. T.J. Watt in on the tackle. Goff on the draw play to Henderson. And he will make his way back to where he started from, and that's all. As we will make our way to the two-minute warning. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. And we remind you, coming up at the half, we'll join who, Charles? The coach. <laughs> the coach, Jonathan Coachman, standing by in Orlando. He'll have stats and scores from games in progress, as well as scores from earlier today. So, the coach. So we get slap happy up here sometimes. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted 
but it winds up falling incomplete. The name of the game is always on defense, put pressure on the quarterback, and that's exactly what they've done today. It looks like they've got him a little bit rattled. That would have been the second interception in the first half. Zerline, of course, last year had likely the iconic field goal of the season, booting that 57-yarder in the Superdome to send his squad to the Super Bowl. Yeah, you really hurt the Saints fans on that one, didn't you? Sorry. They didn't want to hear that at all, but this guy deserves his nicknames. Greg the Leg, Legatron, because the ball goes through the post at a heavy rate, 87% in 2018. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And thus far, the weather has not slowed this offense down one bit. They've looked good so far in the first half. They certainly have. And think back to our meeting with the head coach. And we asked him because we saw the forecast for this game, didn't we? He said, hey, have you prepared for this? And he talked about the different drills that they've done in adverse conditions, the wet ball drills, things of that nature. He said, I don't think it's going to slow us down much. We tend to handle it pretty well, and he's been right. And now this throw complete to Washington. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Now Roethlisberger to throw. And he's got his man, the tight end, McDonald. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Could we get a touchdown in this first half after all? It's first and ten. Again, it's Roethlisberger. Nowhere to turn this time, and he goes down. Sank back of the 29. The Steelers signal for the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. To try again after the sack, Roethlisberger, open man, completes it to Smith-Schuster. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. On third down, Roethlisberger, open man as Switzer, complete. They get seven there, but it brings up fourth. Many teams, as soon as they spot man defense, if they haven't called a hitch, they'll get to it as fast as they can. They want to put the ball in the hands of one of their best playmakers and hope that he can break a tackle on the outside and go for big yardage. Boswell's kick is good. And the lead will increase to six now. It's nine to three. Still a little bit of time left here in the second quarter, but they do get three before the half and expand that lead. And they have to be happy about that, and we haven't met a team yet that doesn't put an emphasis on trying to get points on the board in the last two minutes of a half. They'll be real excited to have those up on the board. This one fielded at the five, and he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. It's a gain of 11 and a first down L.A. Now a first down throw, gone. He gets it to Cooks. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Back to throw, Goff. Open man is Higby, the tight end. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. So we have reached halftime in what's a six-point game at the break. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thank you very much. More from you two in a minute. But first, let's take a spin around the NFL and see what's... You want the third quarter already? No problem. Let's do it. Well, this snow front that has socked much of the East Coast not going away as we are back to it in the second half. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And with the way this offense has played thus far, to be frank, they got to feel pretty grateful to be in the ball game. I would agree with you totally because they've done all of nothing offensively in this game, yet they still find themselves in a position on this drive where a touchdown can give them the lead. They need to take advantage of it. And they're still looking for that first touchdown here in the third quarter. All they have so far, the field goal. 
The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. Throwing on third, Goff. And he's going to be taken down. Goff is sacked. Mark Barrett picks up his second sack of the afternoon. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. Here's Johnny Hacker now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Call it a 48-yard punt. Give them nine, though, on the return. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. They start the drive with Connor. And he'll muscle his way up to the 43 for a pickup of right around five. On second down, Samuels. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Now Roethlisberger on first down. He finds his tight end, Gentry. The completion good for three, and it's second down. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Shotgun handoff to Samuels. And some nice running going to get him down close to a first down at the Rams 42. This is third and one, very likely four down territory, even if they don't get it, though. On third down, it's Connor. And a loose football. And now the Rams have got it going the other way. And they will set up shop at their own 41-yard line. Playing in snow brings so many other factors into the game. It's not just trying to take care of the ball, and we just saw there that that's difficult to do, but just trying to keep your feet and carry out your assignments and, and make sure you're comfortable while you're out there playing. Are you warm enough in your clothing? A million things going on, but the biggest one, hold on to the ball. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. And on the last go-around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. Brandon, there have been some memorable snow games for championships in the NFL. 1948. Philadelphia Eagles, Chicago Cardinals. Well, most famous one in my lifetime, I think, is got to be 0-1, right? Raiders, Patriots, to send the Patriots uh, to the Super Bowl. The tough the roll. roll, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's one people remember. But I also know this. In Miami, the infamous one, the snowplow game. Offense. In New England, when they went out there and, and the Patriots had a guy come out and clear a spot on the field for their field goal kicker to kick the game winner. Is that 82? That was 82. And the Dolphins fans will never forget it. Well, we're not seeing one of those famous games here, but it's fun to be in the snow nonetheless. And he'll get this one down near the 20 yard line, just shy of the 20. An excellent pickup of 20 yards. Now whistles and a flag down. I think one of the Rams linemen might have moved. Had some momentum going, driving down the field. That'll set him back first and 15. I mean, that type of play, when you've got to go in your direction, shoot, my man old Mo is arching an eyebrow at him right now. You've got me going. Keep me going. He'll get three of those penalty yards back here, leaving him with a second and 12. He really hasn't been able to get on track running the football, averaging less than four yards a carry. Yeah, I think that they're going to enjoy the film session because all the defenders are throwing their proper gaps on just about every play. And you know what they always say for a defensive coach, when I click off this film, I better see 11 jerseys in the picture going after the ball. Now a loose football. The ball comes out, and it's picked up by the Steelers. And now look at him go. He's at the 40. The 20, 10, and he's in for six and a Steeler touchdown. Let's go, touchdown, baby. Let's go. 
This was a close game. They needed a little breathing room. Boy, they got it right there on that return for a touchdown. Yeah, we would say that this could be huge. Forget it. It was huge. Gave them a comfortable lead. Mike Tomlin says, let's go ahead and go for two. Watch the twist, watch the twist. They'll try and run it here. And he will dive into the end zone, and the two-point conversion is successful. So a big play there. Not only the fumble return for the touchdown, then they get the two-point try. And you know, for the defense, though, they were just over there sitting on the field. They had to rush out to try to defend that. You know, it's funny. They actually practice situations that they call sudden change when the team turns it over. I guarantee you no one practices a fumble return for a touchdown like that, and now someone goes for two. Really good strategy by them putting them in that situation. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. Now it's Goff off the bootleg. And this is incomplete. Brandon Cooks, the receiver he was going after. But it's going to be second down. You know, despite the score line, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road and just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made. And that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. Draw play for Brown. And he'll get this one across midfield and down into Steeler territory. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven. Leaves him with a second and three. Right back to Brown. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. A gain there of 12 yards and a first down L.A. Partner, if you want more carries, I think we saw how you get him. Showed that he's got the fresh legs, and he picked up the first down on that run. Don't just ask for him. Show him that you're supposed to get the football. A first down run there for Gurley, but nothing opening up as he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's all. They'll try the air now with Goff. He'll get this one to Cup complete. Personal foul, roughing the passer, defense. So they will accept the penalty and move forward. So now a fresh set of downs, first and ten after roughing the passer. A shotgun snap for Goff. And he floated one out there incomplete. Cooper Cup was his intended target, and that'll bring up second down. Second and ten, golf again. He gets it to Gurley, complete. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. The last completion actually lost a yard, so now they'll need to convert on third down. Goff now looking to throw. The 40, the 30, 20, 10, and he'll take this into the end zone. Now, hold on here. We do have a flag down, so let's see what this is about. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. So the special teams penalty costs some yardage there as they come out on first and 10. This is Samuels. And he'll be brought down. Oh, that's a face mask. Certainly looked Personal like foul. it indeed. Here come the face flags. Mask. Defense. So that flag will cost him 15. On, and it doesn't matter anymore how you get the face mask. Any part of it, that's going to be 15 yards. And now it's first and 10. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. Now Roethlisberger. 
And yes, complete to the tight end, McDonald. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. It'll be a gain of 17 at a Pittsburgh first. They'll throw on first down with Roethlisberger. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a roughing call. Foul. Roughing the passer, defense. The hit comes late. We saw it. There's your flag. And we know that there's a guideline, right? Ball's gone. You get one step. If you're within one step of the quarterback, you can hit him as long as it's still done legally. But anything outside of that looks like an extra step was involved. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. On second down now, it's Connor. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. A six-yard pickup on the ground that time, and that'll make it third and four coming up. From the gun on third down, it's Roethlisberger. Third quarter, and you've got the... And he's going to go down. They sack him back right around a 30. Clay Matthews in there for sack number 85 of his great career, moving him past Hall of Famer Howie Long on the all-time list. And we say it all the time, have to be able to get rid of the ball sooner than that. You have to help your offensive line out. They're going to protect you as best they can. And if you're getting three to five seconds to throw the ball, they're doing a really nice job. But when you hold it and give up a sack, you're really Red almost discrediting their the work. A 47-yard attempt. And he missed it. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. Well, it's still a good size lead, so they haven't necessarily needed him, but this is now two missed field goals for him in this game so far. Yeah, and the question now is, will he be prepared when they do need him? Whether that's later in this game or sometime down the line, having a kicker you can count on is definitely imperative. Now a chance to take advantage of that missed field goal. First and 10, way up at the 37. Following the penalty, it's Gurley. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. From the 39, golf pass incomplete. Didn't have a receiver open downfield as it turned out. Couldn't even find his outlet, man, because of the coverage. It's way too tight. Unable to find anyone open. And able to find Higby. It's complete. 50 catches for him now on the year. He's got a first down. First down. From the 50, it's golf. And Cooks has it over the middle. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. A gain there of 12 yards and a first down L.A. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. They go play action with Gurley. Now golf. And that is incomplete. Showed off the arm strength there, but to no avail. Second down. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. That's taken in, complete to Reynolds. And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Again, golf. They'll find Everett there, complete. And he'll be brought down at the 34, well short of the first down marker. Just a five-yard pickup, but it leads to fourth down. And this will split the uprights. It's right down the middle. And that will finish off this third quarter of play. Back now in Pittsburgh. For the fourth quarter, we'll begin with a kickoff following the score on the final play of the third quarter. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. Now, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away. Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. A Steeler first down on a pickup of 11 yards. You can't block me. 
He'll find Smith-Schuster. That's complete. Give him a couple on the catch. It's second and eight. On second down, Samuels. It'll go as a gain of seven on the play, and it sets up a third and inches situation. Roethlisberger will hand to Connor, and he's got a first down as he's up to the 48. It's a first down following a gain of three. I think we're seeing the effect that runs like that are starting to have on this game. They're a little bit slower, that front seven reacting to the football, almost like body blows in boxing. Slowing them down, and they're really starting to take over in this game. They'll run with Samuels. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. It'll be a loss of one, and it'll be second and 11. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. Staying on the ground with Samuels. And he's going to take this one across midfield and into Ram territory. Four yards on the pickup there as they get it back to a more manageable third and seven. From the gun, it's Roethlisberger. And he finds McDonald. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. It's a Pittsburgh first down, a gain of 13. Roethlisberger now six for six since coming back out of the locker room. It's first and ten. Now Ben hit, and he lost the football. It's loose. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. Here's Samuels. A pickup of seven there, but they'll still have 12 yards to go on third down. On third down, Roethlisberger. Able to find Switzer. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 75 yards receiving for him now. It's a first down. Roethlisberger coming up with a first and 10. And he's four for four now, throwing the ball to start the drive. And he'll get this down only to the 18. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. On second and nine, Roethlisberger. And he's got his man, the tight end, McDonald. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. From the shotgun, it's Roethlisberger. That's complete right around the eighth. And he's going to take it in for a Steeler touchdown. Vance McDonald, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Steelers, they broaden their lead. They had the lead in the fourth, but still passing. Finding the big target for the touchdown. Now that lead grows even more. Everybody gets to join in the fun. You know, it doesn't have to just be the wide receivers catching touchdown passes. The tight end doesn't just have to do just the dirty work inside. He gets a chance to get into the end zone as well. You always worry about the plant foot in the snow, but no problems there. And the lead is up to 18 now. So that drive spans 13 plays, and it ends with a Pittsburgh touchdown. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This is fielded at the chalk of the 10. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And fortunate to get points on the board last time. They had to hit a really long field goal to do so. The kickers in today's game are so good and so skilled and hit from distances that we almost start to take them for granted. And we can't do that. That's a long field goal that they got three points out of. They've got to feel good about that. And they better make sure they love him up because he's helped them out. Yeah, now we'll see if that offense can put six on the board here. We'll see. Catch number 44 of on the year. It's a first down. Here's gone. 
And this one's incomplete. He was looking for Josh Reynolds that time. And that'll bring up second down. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. Goff now to throw. That's complete to his tight end, Higby. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. Throwing on third, Goff. Kaderil Hodge has it complete. And they're going to have themselves another first down as the tackle's made at the Steelers' 40. Now that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage, and that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, a tight, a sharply run route. Again, zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area, so you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window. He fired a bullet in there for the completion. Looking to throw again on second down. Golf. He was looking for Todd Gurley. But now it's third down. Here's play number seven on the drive. This is third and seven. To the air again. Golf. This is caught. It's Cooks. And he picks up the first before he's taken down at the 29. And they just keep marching right along. First down on a pickup of eight there. On first down, gone. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. A gain there of 12 yards and a first down L.A. From the red zone now, gone. And that's complete to Cooks. And he'll be out of bounds. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. Clock management, definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agree. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores. Want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. Well, he challenged the play. It did not pay off. And that means he lost a timeout. In and he takes it across for a Rams touchdown. Todd Gurley, his second touchdown on the season. And the Rams are able to cut into this lead. I wonder if he changed anything on his play sheet or they just executed better. Because they had two previous drives that ended in field goals. Before this one, they finally were able to put into the end zone. Well, whatever he did, speaking of the offensive coordinator, might be using that formula going forward. It worked there. Yeah, it worked very well. He and his field general in pretty good sync right now. They're starting to move the ball well. Zerline connects on the extra point, and that makes it 24-13. So that one, a long 11-play drive. Two scores down, three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. And this doesn't work. The Steelers recover it. James Conner and the Steelers ready to get their next drive going. And we have seen a decline in the numbers. Where does the fault lie? Just him, maybe the guys up front combination? Well, as you and I both know, it's almost always a collective deal. But in this case, I think maybe the offensive line got a little overconfident. They had blocked so well in the first half, picked up on what the defense was doing. I think we've seen an adjustment now that they have not picked up on, and now they're being a little bit overwhelmed. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. Roethlisberger now off the bootleg. He'll get that one complete to Connor. A gain of 10, good for a Steeler first down. They'll run on first down. Connor. And down inside the 15 he goes. 12 yards that time at a Pittsburgh first. First and 10 at the 14 yard line. Now Roethlisberger on first down. That one into the hands of his tailback Samuels. 
So he got free of one tackle, but couldn't do a whole lot else. Just a one-yard pickup on the play, and it'll be a second down. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. On second down now, it's Connor. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. This is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. Again, it's Connor. And he'll be brought down well short of the first at about the nine-yard line. And whistles, and we're going to have another stoppage of play as they call the timeout on defense with 1.53 left. A 26-yard attempt. And Boswell's kick is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So they settle for just the three. But clearly right now, anything helps trying to salt this one away in the fourth. Without a doubt, obviously a touchdown probably would have been the final nail to finish this thing off. But it's still eight up time, got points. So while it's not mission accomplished, it's darn close. This is taken just shy of the 10 here. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. And Woods has it complete. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Goff now looks to throw. That's into the hands of Reynolds. It's a gain of 15, and the Rams have a first down. Woods coming off by far the best year of his career. 86 catches, over 1,200 yards. Now he's hoping to build on that, but boy, he was a key cog in the wheel that took them to the Super Bowl last season. Goff. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. Throwing again is gone. Open man is Higby, the tight end. And they're going to have themselves another first down as the tackle's made at the Steelers' 25-yard line. Now gone. That's taken in, complete to Reynolds. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. The Rams going to be forced to use their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with an even 20 seconds left to go. Again, golf. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far. It's second down. A line of scrimmage once again, the five, as they get ready for second and goal. Incomplete, but a penalty flag is down in the backfield. Holding Let's get the offense. call. Well, your QB's been sacked four times in the game already, and they're the holding goal. And you know darn well the offensive line coach is frustrated and upset that he's been hit that many times already. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Bud Dupree in there to make the sack on what will be the final act in this ball game. So this one in the win column for the Pittsburgh Steelers. And despite the cold, despite the snow, this one was fun to watch. And I want to thank you for bringing two things, the space heater and the hot chocolate. Those were a big help for us here in the booth. Yeah, just so you know, in the future, get your own space heater. Okay, I'm an only child. I don't share very often. But this had to bring out like the 12-year-old in us, didn't it? I mean, to be able to watch this. And let's face it, when you were that age, you didn't come inside until mom screamed, get inside now, young man, because you wanted to be out there just having a good time. And actually, you almost forgot just how cold it was. I'm sure these guys didn't, but they ended up playing just like those 12-year-olds and getting it done. So for the Steelers, the win will move them to 7-2 and two now on the year. And they will hit the road next week for a date with the Cleveland Browns. Meanwhile, for L.A., the loss will drop them to 6-3 and three now on the year. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week.